Look at this necklace. Isn't it fabulous? Except will you spend this kind of money on it? I personally wouldn't, but it's fabulous. Another Chanel collection has dropped in the boutiques right now. It is the Chanel Spring Summer 2021 Runway Collection, also known as 21S. We're gonna go over some of the pieces that I like, what I think about the pricing, what I think about the collection in general, and also uh, my personal pick if I were to maybe go after a certain piece from this collection. Mini flap with a top handle made in caviar. Something that Chanel has stopped doing for a while in their mini flaps. However, this one is still seasonal with the top handle as a little addition to this collection. And the chain itself is also a little thinner, but the bag shape and the lining of the bag is very similar to what we're used to seeing in the classic mini flap, which is really, really nice. I am personally a big, big fan of this bag. If you don't already have a mini flap in your collection, then I would think that this is a great option. Now, I know not everyone is a big fan of the top handle. I personally am. But I do feel that if you do wear this more crossbody, then the handle will look a little strange. So if I were to buy this bag, I would most of the time wear it by the little top handle anyway. And I don't mind the chain dangling. I think it's actually really, really pretty. And minis are here to stay. I also love that they made it in so many different colors. Um, my favorite is definitely the black and the white. But I mean, yeah, look at the black one. It's just so pretty and so classic looking aside from the addition of the top handle. Like I said, I won't be adding one in my collection even though I was so tempted. But if I did not already have mini flaps myself, I definitely would have considered this. My favorite was definitely the black, but even this cream color with the gold hardware is so divine and beautiful. My second favorite would have been the white iridescent with silver hardware, but even the metallic silver and gold caviar are so stunning and just so exceptionally beautiful this season and i love that they also made it in so many different colors they might not be all available in your local store but if you saw some of the campaign pictures it comes in pink in red in green in blue just so many different colors moving on to this little hobo bag i think it's super interesting and I like that it's a different shape. Obviously, I wouldn't buy this for investment purposes, but I just think it's cute. I just love the CC detailing on this little top handle here. Moving on to the small hobo bag. I mean, their names are not super creative, but anyway. So this, I spoke about it briefly on our luxury live show. I did say that I liked it a lot. I just like it because it's simple. It's just one of those kind of easy grab and go, kind of like an errands bag. The shape is very flat, so it lays flat on your body. And it's just a little crossbody. I also love the detailing of the pearl. This bag just screams practicality and functionality to me. It has a little back pocket. It has enough space to put your essentials, your large phone, and a little bit more. And it stays close to your body and it's super cute with the little pearl detailing. The only caveat is that it is pricey as with everything from Chanel. So I wouldn't really buy this as an investment item, more kind of like an item that if you fall in love with it and you just like the details and the ease of use of it, then yeah, go ahead. Cute little seasonal bag with a static top handle and with the CC logo hardware detailing. I also love the back pocket that takes up the entire width of the bag, 19.5 centimeters. So it definitely will fit your largest size phone as well, which is quite nice. It's super cute as a seasonal bag. Moving on to this little mini drawstring bag. Love it. Chanel does the best drawstring bags ever. And whenever they come up with like a super little dinky cute one with pearl details and 
CC logos and um, a little bit of the uh, bling bling hardware. It just, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It is so dinky and small though, so you're really buying it for the pearls and for the details and the fact that it's a little novelty. It is very small, 12 by 12 by 12 centimeters. I don't like this one as much, but to each their own. Um, I prefer the pearl detailing on the strap. I just feel like it's so elegant. Aside from the seasonal mini flap with the top handle, they also have the more classic shape mini flap. And they have some really pretty colors this season. So this is kind of an iridescent white with a tint of pink. It's just so pretty. And instead of lambskin this season, they are doing a lot of calfskin. So iridescent calfskin with a champagne gold hardware. It's so pretty. I would love a classic flap, but at these prices... I'm taking my money to Hermes. The same hobo that we spoke about earlier, but with the regular chain, so not the pearl chain. This chain makes more sense to me on this bag, but I do like the detail of the pearls, so uh, call me crazy. But anyway, um, it's essentially the same bag. Okay, moving right along. I'm just gonna skip over stuff that I don't really care so much about. But let's take a look at this little mini messenger bag. What's this about? Almost like the Dior bobby shape with a few compartments. A little calfskin bag. It's cute. Um, yeah, it's just a seasonal bag, I suppose. If you like it, you like it. It really reminds me of the bobby shape, but more functional because the Dior bobby's opening is so narrow. With the cutout whereas this is you see everything at a glance so i actually really like this as a seasonal bag i think these messenger bags are so much more functional and looks classic it looks like a shape that will stay you know uh, so i actually am a fan i i really like it actually white one with black trim slightly smaller kind of like a mini size might just barely fit your large phone but it's uber cute I really like it actually. The Chanel 19, um, one of my favorites, and it's still going super strong. If you own one, then you would know what I mean. It's one of those bags where it just is so easy once you um, start wearing it because it's easy to get in and out of, it's so easy to style, and it's just a very reliable uh, everyday bag. So I'm a big fan. I think the price, even though it has gone up slightly, it's still reasonable. The smallest size, which is referred as the medium, is still under $7,000. Obviously, with taxes, it's over that, but it's still reasonable in my opinion. And it comes in so many different colors and materials now. Um, tweed, calfskin, lambskin, goatskin, just so much to choose from. So I'm still a big fan myself and I still recommend it. And especially uh, when it's in a super nice tweed, I just, I can really just get behind those. Trendy CC is back this season. It has gone up a little bit in price, slightly over the price of a Chanel 19, but it is leather line it's a very substantial handbag and it's got everything in my personal chanel collection video i said that the trendy cc to me is a modern classic even though it is still a seasonal bag to me i treat it as a classic bag in my collection because it just it just carries like one it looks like it it's very luxurious and I feel like it's not really going to go anywhere. And even if it does, it does not matter. I feel like it's still reasonable. It's just shy of uh, $7,000 right now, which is still a better price than their classic flap. And I, I actually really like it. So I would still consider this to be a good purchase if you're after one. The Deauville totes are back. And although I'm a big fan of the look um, it is just too big of a bag and too heavy of a bag for me but this leather version is just so yummy it looks so smooth and really really luxurious looking not so sure about wear and tear but it looks really really cool and i can get behind the look i just 
don't think that it's the most practical bag in the world and they are getting very pricey now so yeah it really depends on your lifestyle for me it doesn't serve me did i not tell you the brown clutch has gone up in price granted this one does have a pearl chain which is uber cute i actually really like this just keep in mind that it is just gonna be a novelty item it'll only fit your bare essential minus a phone it is roomy but um yeah it's it's kind of borderline not worth it because of the price but this pearl chain is so super cute you could also consider the small vanity with chain um, it probably fits around the same amount as the round clutch with chain but just a different shape adding a pearl strap to a card holder and slapping a three thousand two hundred dollar price tag to it is kind of insane to me i love it because it's cute but oh my gosh the price small vanity with chain we saw it on the runway so dinky super cute obviously it's a useless item you can probably fit a few lipsticks in there and your airpods i suppose you're buying it as a decoration like as an accessory on your body not for practicality i'm sure they're super cute though you guys know my stance on walks they are functional but there are a couple of things that i just always never really liked about walks is that the chains are too long first of all and second of all they're so flat so they don't really fit all that much however with the trend of really downsizing and with the trend of phone bags walks are starting to make more sense now except that they have gone up in prices a lot as well it reminds me of the lv cans bag but nicer it's cute it's so cute it looks so vintage too probably useless in the sense that they um are probably really small and won't fit a phone obviously foldable tote bag with chain huh so you actually get a little chanel bag in a sense it's like a little pouch that fits your tote inside and i wonder is this tote completely detached from the leather pouch because if it is then you're actually getting two things in one this is so super interesting the classic flap phone holder i know this one is all the rage on instagram Here's what I don't like about this. Price is pretty high. Yes, it does fit your phone, I suppose, on the front flap. And then you do have a compartment for your money and your cards. Size-wise, it looks like it should fit your Max phone. So that's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, it could be a hit or a miss depending on how it looks on. With the extra embellishments, it's so close to the price of a proper mini bag, right? so that's where i'm struggling a little bit with the price i love a good phone holder i love the one that i have in burgundy with the proper turn lock closure and the one that i have is actually a little bit taller and also wider this one is a lot thinner compared to the one that i own and that's the thing because these are seasonal so they don't always make them the same but I personally am a big fan of the phone holder if you can find the one that is super well made and well priced. Let's take a look at their costume jewelry next. Oh, so cute and so novelty. It's actually a functional little charm where you can probably put, I don't know, a gum inside or something even though no one would do it. I really like it. I think it's one of those things that are so extra special and just so super novelty, except for the price. Um, at this price point, which is well over 2000 with taxes, I'm going to skip over it, but I really, really liked it for this runway. Look at this necklace. Isn't it fabulous? Except will you spend this kind of money on it? I personally wouldn't, but it's fabulous chanel knows how to accessorize you just can't help but like it a lot uh, but yeah like i said this long necklace which you could also wear crossbody is well over three thousand dollars which oh my gosh no <laughs> it's too expensive but it's so so novelty and so 
fabulous. I do like this necklace, especially if you just want something just bling and plain gold. I think it's actually really interesting instead of the classic white pearls. This is super cute. I like a good hoop earring. I just like the design. It's so simple, but yet interesting. Beautiful choker. I love that it's so simple and it looks very classic, something that you can probably pair with any outfit. Obviously, it is just costume jewelry and I was even asked whether uh, these things tarnish and whether Chanel will fix it for you if it's over two years. The answer is it may tarnish. It really depends on how you take care of your things and also... Um, I'm not so sure that Chanel will necessarily fix it for you. It just really depends on your store and also it depends on, you know, their evaluation of what has happened to your item. So it really just depends uh, on when it happened, whether they think it's regular wear and tear or if it's really a defect. Um, but yeah, anyway. I really like this choker. I think the price is reasonable for this and I think that it will easily be dressed up and dressed down tennis bracelet with crystals and a little cc charm in the middle i just love the simplicity it just looks like a classic piece that can be worn um, with a dressed up or dressed down outfit and the price is actually really reasonable i actually really like it earrings nowadays are getting too expensive especially the large dangly ones so you really just have to pick and choose uh, between seasons. These earrings are also really cute, except I won't buy them because of the, again, <laughs> the posts on these are the tapered ones, so they're not super comfortable on me. A lot of people really like these kind of studs because they're simple, and um, quite frankly, if they look good on your ears, I would get them because sometimes less is more. Okay, these earrings are so cute. Only reason why I'm not getting it is because it does have that tapered post. But otherwise, I think they're so darling. These ones are very simple, the little turn lock CC ones. Again, they have the tapered post, which is unfortunate because I actually really like these. Let's move right along to shoes. I love these sandals. They look super comfortable. I love the gold little accent. I love the little CC logo. I love that the heel is not super high. It looks like it's a walkable sandal. Obviously, pending trying them on, if you can handle a higher heel, I feel like these are stunning. But they're still a block heel, so, um, you know, they they would still be a more comfortable high heel. And I love all the turn locks. Uh, detailing on the straps themselves they are just stunning i love the chanel logo in the front wow i wish i could wear these because it is a bit too high heel for me but they are stunning i love these obviously chanel shoes are always super attractive doesn't necessarily mean they're comfortable you still have to try them on but they are definitely super attractive these are nice, but I wish I could just pull off those high heel ones because those are stunning. Chanel scarves are always fun, especially when you can find a really pretty logo. I think this one would be really fun to wear with the CC logos in the corners and with all the colors. This one as well, just a little bit uh, more muted than the earlier one, but I feel like it's a really nice design for this season if you want a more simple but still logo forward one this one is also super cute and i love the little pink accent with the black and white aside from that i feel like the rest is just kind of lazy i mean there's not much design aside from just slapping the words chanel on it uh, so i feel like these are a little bit more lazy in terms of design but if you like a good logo or if you just like it, then go for it. I'm a big fan of their chain belts and I really, really like this one. Just a simple chain belt. I love the intertwined leather design with the CC logo. Uh, just black and gold. So simple. 
This one does attach from the back. A little pricey, but I feel like this one is one of the more classic looking ones. Also, I want to say, if you like that handbag charm, that really novelty charm, why not get it in the belt instead? It's actually way more reasonable because I think this charm is so big that wearing it around your waist actually makes it look more cohesive. What would be even better is if they made the charm itself detachable. I wonder if it is. I don't think it is. But imagine if it is, then you really get two in one. This one comes in the necklace and the bracelet, if you remember. Uh, so I like it, but it doesn't jump at me. That's the thing. This season's headwear is absolutely stunning. Look at this headband. It's so nice. It is basically the same design as the choker and the belt that I like. But in a headband, if it fits you, I honestly recommend it because it's so stunning. I don't think they'll do it all the time. So get your hands on it if you can. And if you like a good headband, especially if you don't want to do your hair that day, but you want to look like you put in some effort, this headband is your answer. I wouldn't go for this headband because this is just too simple. A piece of metal with few imitation pearls although i realize now that i am not a hair clip person because i have thin hair and not enough to make use of a hair clip but if you do then um, this looks really classic and simple and just timeless to me i think you guys see the theme here black and gold simple intertwined chain detail a uh, very classic Chanel design. Or even this one, actually. This one just screams vintage to me. It looks like a style that's brought back from the past. All right, let's jump on to ready to wear. I really like the vibe of this collection. Oversized, super comfortable vibe, super flowy. Uh, the colors are neutral, but still just beautiful and elegant. Look at the hardware on the sleeve. Isn't it stunning and the buttons? Just beautiful. And it is a bit more relaxed so that uh, those of you who are guys who um, likes Chanel clothing but find them too feminine, this is the season for you. Love how she's styling this beautiful necklace on her neck super novelty like i said i love it i just won't get it because of the price point but yeah this suit is just so stunning this is a belt that i already have in my collection which you see how easily you can just style it on top of a flowy summer dress it just looks stunning on the model it might not be the exact same belt but it's quite similar love the necklace on her by the way but um it's just one of those things it's a little more trendy, harder to style. Obviously on the runway, it makes a lot of sense to style a lot of these things, but you just have to pick and choose the ones that really work for your wardrobe. The chain detailing on the pockets and on the sleeves, just so stunning. And, and just, yeah, so relaxed and beautiful. This is the little dinky bag that was really novelty and super cute. Love this jumpsuit. Um, doesn't mean I would buy it, but I love it. And I love how they accessorize everything. Look at these hoop earrings that I mentioned earlier and the necklace. And oh my gosh, look at the arm candy. A little too much, but I mean, that's the thing. Everything looks just so cohesive on the runway because obviously on the runway, it's a little bit more fantasy. That's the belt that I think you should go for if you like this charm and you just want to add something from this line. The choker necklace I mentioned earlier that I think is super classic. Look at this bag necklace. Stunning, but obviously not super functional. I love this cardigan, which you can also wear as a dress. And notice she's wearing this belt that I mentioned earlier. So it's just kind of like a little necklace around your waist. It does look like they either tucked in the chains or maybe they did not add the chains during the runway. Um, definitely makes a difference. I, I know some people don't like the chains dangling, but the chains are functional. They really help you be hands-free when you need it. 
So I actually do like the chains. This was the handbag that we mentioned earlier. And uh, this was the forever necklace. It's nice. It's just a little trendy. But the bag, I mean, the bag is fabulous. Love the headband on her. That's the headband that uh, I was recommending earlier. If you have long hair and if you just want to be lazy with styling your hair, look at how she just put a low ponytail on her back and literally just let her hair flow. Very casual, but super simple and yet looks like you put in effort. I love this jacket actually. Um, it is a bit oversized because the season is about the oversized and look at the sequence. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. I wish it was just a simple black tweed. Uh, and if the smallest of this oversized jacket still fits me, I would have probably considered it. This was the other belt that I was attracted to. Remember I talked about the scarf in this pattern. I just think it's stunning. Elegant, yet colorful. It's just everything. Everything about it I love. I even love this necklace on her. It's so oversized and chunky. So statement. Just beautiful. Don't love this bag though. Uh, it's kind of useless but it goes with the whole styling obviously if you style things properly then anything can look good whether it's trendy colorful flashy statement classic uh, neutral if you style things properly it will always look good love the accessorizing here um, except the metal on metal will probably make a lot of metal clinging sound but I mean, it does look really cool, doesn't it? So if you're not into a classic white pearl, then this gold pearl is so cool. The, all the layering on the neck is just out of this world. So, so cool. Only Chanel can do it, I feel. Um, and only they can do it so well, even when like some of these accessories are literally ridiculous to wear on a daily basis. But done the right way they just make a lot of sense don't they so yeah here's the little dinky bag that we spoke about earlier it's very small but it's so cute and it's definitely novelty no doubt about it i love myself a good black and white outfit love this scarf that i spoke about earlier i think this is a stunner and if you want to get yourself a Chanel scarf that looks classic, I would suggest this one. Loving the belt on this look as well. And even the bag with the pearls. Um, yeah, this whole look. Okay, I love this look. I'm super attracted to it. And again, the belt. Love it. Um, I would totally wear this. Love, love, love the headband on her. Love of the choker. From that, I did go ahead and buy something from this particular collection and I will be revealing that in my next video. So definitely stay tuned. I personally really loved this collection and I thought that the runway was really beautiful and how everyone was styled with the very novelty accessories. But of course, they are very expensive. As for the handbags, my favorite piece has to be the little mini flap with the top handle. I think a top handle is always a plus, uh, but it does change up the look when you wear it crossbody. It kind of may look a little out of place. So if I were to buy it, I would most likely carry by hand. If you're brand new to my channel and you love this type of content, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.